Reborn. Reborn. Wait, reborn? I thought I was talking to Sin. What's going on? <laughs> Can you tell us about um, your life in the past few weeks and any significant things that happened? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked, Sin. Quite a while ago, we were recording a podcast about the Valley of Defilement, and the topic somehow strayed onto Sin attempting to describe an anime to me, which sounded something like this. There are babies, and then there's the seven rings, and the seven pacifiers, and then there's a rainbow together, and you put it all together, and then that is the policy, and there's seven babies, but the babies used to be adults, and then they all work together with the mafia, and then they work, and then... It sounded like that, and sadly that episode was lost to time. <laughs> uh, by which I mean my hard drive crashed and we couldn't recover it. Mm -hmm. And this made it stick in your head and, and you decided that as penance for losing that episode, that I would be asked very nicely to watch... All 33 episodes of season one of the anime in question, mm -hmm. which is called Hitman Reborn, mm -hmm. uh, in the hopes that at the end of it, I would understand what you meant. <laughs> yes. And um, we're now at the end of that process, and I don't. <laughs> I understand maybe 5% of what you were saying, but... The problem with Hitman Reborn is that there's 206 episodes of this show. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we watched season one, which was 33 episodes long. Correct. Which introduced one of the things that you were talking about. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And to give a little background, Katekyo Hitman Reborn, also known as Reborn, is a Japanese manga uh, which got adapted into an anime. Mm. And it aired on TV from early 2000s to like 2010s. And it was, the manga was very, very popular. The TV show, I'm guessing it was very popular because it's just so, so good. And it's basically a shonen anime about a young boy who's not very good at things, but he's also destined to be the next. Um, great mafia boss. Mm. The way that you just cheerless it, and he's destined to become a mafia boss, is also <laughs> kind of how the show presents the mafia. <laughs> well, how would you say the show presents the mafia, Richie? Well, okay, I think you you hit on you hit the nail on the head when you said it's basically a shown in anime <laughs> because. <laughs> What we've described about babies and pacifiers and a rainbow and the mafia <laughs> is maybe like 10% of the show. Uh -huh. The rest of it is like if you went to a supermarket and there was just like a black and white package of like store brand shonen anime. <laughs> you picked that up. That's the rest of Reborn. So it's about <laughs> a loser kid who for some reason gets, like, his two best friends, one of whom is, like, intense and angsty, one of whom is laid back and cool. Uh-huh. And then there's also a girl he has a crush on, uh -huh. but doesn't notice him, and a girl who has a crush on him, <laughs> yeah. but he doesn't like her. And he has to juggle his, like, school life and his friends at school with having to fight other people who conveniently also have a gang where their their like unique special abilities are the opposite of his friend's abilities and uh you you were not overly familiar with shonen no. before you saw no <laughs> it's like the only shonen thing you'd seen so you you were flawed <laughs> by my ability to predict yeah. certain things in the narrative like this guy is going to join them later on. Um, they're setting this guy up as the rival. There's going to be an incredibly long tournament arc. <laughs> but I think one thing that makes this show really unique is that Suna 
has a tutor who is a baby hitman named Reborn, who was sent from Italy by the current head of the Vangola Mafia family to train Suna yeah. to become the next uh, Vangola Mafia boss. And it, it's important to understand that in the world of Reborn, <laughs> the Mafia are ninja. <laughs> and the qualities you need in a Mafia boss are things like uh, if he thinks he's hurt someone, he feels really bad about it and then confesses. And um, that he thinks protection rackets are bad. <laughs> um, and that he knows it's wrong to hurt people. Yeah, he's a very compassionate yeah. individual. Yeah, um, compassion, an incredibly important trait in the world of organized crime, is an unwavering compassion for your fellow man. Yes. So, <laughs> Reborn, who is who is a kind of Funko Pop homunculus, <laughs> uh, sort of he looks he looks like a Funko Pop in a fedora and a suit, mm-hmm. and he is sent to instruct Suna on how to be a great mafia boss. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, Richie. Um, yes. Did you know, though, that Al Capone opened one of the first soup kitchens during the Great Depression? Wow. Yeah. But So yeah. maybe Reborn is more accurate than we know. Is it going to be an episode about them opening a soup kitchen? Well, in, in Reborn, <laughs> they sell chocolate-covered bananas. <laughs> it's also worth pointing out that in the universe of Reborn, the high school disciplinary committee... <laughs> Of um of one high school in this entire like city. Yeah. Is is like canonically, this is not a joke, <laughs> canonically more powerful and influential than the mafia, to the point where the mafia are intimidated by them. <laughs> yeah, because the head of the school disciplinary committee, Hibari, he's pretty intimidating. He's also the best. Yeah, though. he's He's uh he's very uh bishy and he has a dramatic piano theme that accompanies him wherever he goes. Yeah. And he has a lot of school spirit. Yeah, so much school spirit that he chose to not graduate <laughs> so that he could continue running the school disciplinary committee. Yeah. And he actually um he um what's the word I'm thinking of? He did something. Um, he did something so that a little, um, a little chicken learned, like, became his best, his best friend and learned the theme of the school. What do you call yeah. that word? Oh, he yeah. tamed. There we go. <laughs> he tamed a little yeah. chicken and taught them. Was it a chicken? Because, I mean, it, it flies everywhere. Oh. It was just, like, some sort of bird. We should also point out that, like, the tone of Reborn was extremely wacky. <laughs> yeah. For the, okay, oh, this is the thing about Reborn. Mm-hmm. The stuff in Reborn that is just an escalating series of weird things happening. Mm -hmm. As these self-contained little stories about, like, like farces where, like, Suna's got to hide what he thinks is a dead body, but it isn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) Or, like, um, one of the mafia assassins is cooking poison in Suna's kitchen and he's got to figure out a way to get her out of there. (laughs) Those were generally very good. Yeah. The problem is it also is attempting this, like, story arc about feuding mafia clans who have uh, groups of of assassins with, like, themed ninja techniques and also at one point a fleet of warships. And at that point, it it just sort of veers into suddenly the laws of physics apply. Mm Mm-hmm. So, like, previously where, where bombs would go off and just blow people out the window like it's Looney Tunes, and then they'd show up later on with, like, a comedy bandage on their head. Right. Within the same, <laughs> not just the same series, but the same season, there's also scenes in which people are just, like, lured to an abandoned warehouse and, like, beaten. Yeah. And they end up with, like, actual bruises and cuts, and they're, like, vomiting blood. Yeah. And it's depicted as genuinely serious. And at one point, there's, like, serial killers who look like Slender Man. Yeah. But this is happening in the same universe that there is a talking baby and 
a, a woman whose power is to go poison cooking and produce <laughs> plates of like deadly food that melt stuff when it touches them. But even the deadly food looks pretty cute. It's like purple with like yeah, it's, heart, like it's very purple. cute worms in it or something. Yeah, these cute little worms with googly eyes live in the food, but then if the food touches something, it melts. <laughs> but that's happening in the same, like, the same episode that, like, someone is is being held in a warehouse yeah. and, like, dying of a virus. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess, like, I brought up Jojo a couple of times during it. Mm-hmm. Because jo- Jojo is a similar thing where, like, it's it's an inherently ridiculous premise, but also people die and it's played straight. Mm-hmm. And I think, like, that has a slightly better control over the tone than this. Like, this felt very jarring when things actually happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I appreciated that shift in tone. I don't know. I liked it. Oh, well, I feel like it... I feel like it was largely, like, just made up as they went along. Okay. And it took them a while to sort of find, like, their feet and figure out what they wanted to do. Because mm-hmm. there's a, a lot of characters were introduced and then just sort of disappeared from the series. It feels like they were just, like, testing them out and then they just got bored with them and moved on. <laughs> so, some people may think that this is our discussion of Reborn and that this is it. But is it, Richie? No. No, it's not because uh, we we recorded ourselves watching all thirty three twenty two minute episodes of Reborn. So that's about it's about eleven hours. There's and that's like that's eleven hours of just us watching it, not including before and after discussions. So there's maybe fifteen hours now of audio of just us discussing Reborn, a series that like. The most, like, I've talked to people about it and they either don't know what it is or they say, oh, yeah, I remember that being on. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. And so, <laughs> now that you say it like that, that sounds pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, imagine. So, <laughs> we're going to release uh, the discussion episodes on the channel and then- <laughs> Well, you're going to release them. I don't want any part of this. <laughs> And then if you ever feel like uh, listening to the full commentary track, um, they <laughs> <laughs> they will become available on Patreon as per tradition. The worst yeah, content yeah. goes Sin, on Patreon. Sin, Sin is going to put up every single uh, recording of our- And also, it's worth pointing out, we watch them together on Crunchyroll. Yeah. Which has a, a player that is kind of annoying to use, so- Several of the episodes won't be in sync because halfway through it's like jumped ahead another episode. <laughs> We've had to go back and resync again. Uh, yeah. Okay, if if you have it works on Crunchyroll, it also works if you go to that Vimeo channel that had the first ten episodes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like how this is what we've done a commentary on. <laughs> it's reborn. Out of just everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's, here's what the commentary sounds like. Look, it's Lambo! He's so cute! <laughs> he is, though! Isn't he cute, Richard? I guess. Richard is Lambo! <laughs> he is the cutest, though. You cannot argue with how cute yeah, Lambo is. But, like, as I was... Because you forgot pretty much everything that happened in it. <laughs> yeah. After you saw it. And I feel like a lot of your, your positive reaction to Reborn is just that you think Lambo is cute. <laughs> He wouldn't be wrong. For reference, La- Lambo is Lambo is a baby who dresses as a cow, <laughs> not a lamb, and produces when he is upset, he produces grenades from his hair and throws them and they explode and it's very funny. It is. It is and, the funniest. Yeah. Um Sin basically just likes that character because he's a cute design. Yeah. And she likes Reborn because he is a cute design yeah. and he he puts on a series of different outfits, oh my and God. he yeah. he has a bunch of of aliases he adopts. <laughs> yeah. Like at one point, he he just dresses as a Russian dancer and calls himself uh, Von Goluski. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and on and two occasions, he 
dressed as a university professor called Professor, professor Boreen, Boreen. <laughs> who then like lectured people in mathematics. Mm-hmm. He's also a trainer. Um, uh, called Master Pow Pow, yeah. where he dresses as an elephant. Yeah. He also dressed as a catfish. Yes. Uh, and a sea urchin. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I feel like I wish the series was more about that. <laughs> I wish it was like I wish it was just a series about a baby who was a hitman. <laughs> well, the thing is, there's like Reborn has enough ideas for about six different shows, and it doesn't really commit to any of them. <laughs> Yeah. So I feel like a baby who is a hitman mm-hmm. would have been a good series. Yeah. Um, Suna's friend Haru, who really likes babies and has to look after the babies, but they're hitman babies. <laughs> and they keep, like, throwing grenades around mm-hmm. and shooting each other. Mm-hmm. That would have been a good series. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, the... The idiot teenager who has to become a mafia boss and is really bad at it <laughs> would have been a good series. Mm-hmm. But I think that's what makes Reborn even better because it's all of those together. Well, it's all of them together, but I think they're slightly drowned out by this like mafia clan ninja war. <laughs> what have we done? Well, again, thank you so much, Richie. I I would like to end this with a quote from Crunchyroll user Yogurt Retzel, <laughs> whose comment with four upvotes is simply, "There's been no character progression in the last thirty episodes." <laughs> Ciao, Sue. Ciao, Sue. Exactly. And then, okay, okay, this is cool. My boyfriend actually brought this from his place when we moved in together. And it's a box. It's like three boxes. Or maybe more. I can't see. But at least, at least three. Okay. And there, one is orange, one is green, and one is blue. Do you know where they're from? What? That would be pretty cool. I kind of wish I could just steal a traffic light and put it in my room. But no, it's a box. And then it it opens. If I told my boyfriend that, he'd know exactly what I'm talking about. And then stuff comes out of the box. It's not a game. It's an anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a little box. And then... And then you open it, and then stuff comes out. Yeah, so, okay, stuff lives in the box. Maybe that's in the later season of the anime, though. I can't remember. What's in the box usually, babe? Is it a pass- is the pacifier in the box? No. No, they wear the pacifiers. Is the baby in the box? <laughs> I'm trying to remember what's in the the box is important i just can't remember what okay now something lives in it in the second part of the season or whatever but in the first part of the anime (laughs) the box is important but i don't remember how (laughs) no (laughs) okay as i was saying i think there are five boxes or seven how many colors are in a rainbow? I think that's the number of boxes. Seven? Okay, there's seven boxes. And each one is the color of the rainbow, I think. Oh, shit. Now my boyfriend's trying to trip me up. I'm pretty sure, because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's related to the rainbow. And then, also, <laughs> you get a box from a baby. I think. <laughs> I think you get a box from a baby. Or, yeah, yeah. And also the babies, they have very special pacifiers. I forget why they're special, but it has something to do with saving the world. And, um... Oh, there's also a policy. What was the policy, babe? Oh, let me Google the policy. Um, what was the name of the anime? (laughs) 
<laughs> I can't remember what it's called. It's a... Uh... <laughs> um... <laughs> no, I think the babies have pacifiers. But oh, and I think when you... <laughs> I think that when you combine the boxes with the pacifiers, you get the policy. And that's what can destroy or save the world. Yeah, the policy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's translated. I don't know. I watched the subs. I think they were official. No, we watched it on Crunchyroll, so it 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 was it was legit. And it was very, it was recent, it was a couple of years ago, so it's not like in the 90s where you had to download the subtitles from a sketchy site. I don't know, I don't, it's just, okay, I'm like giving, you, you clearly haven't seen it. Because it's like, they're babies, and one of them, <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> no, you have to say, okay, babies, it's an anime about babies. But the babies aren't really babies. It's just... <laughs> no, okay, they went to the mountain. <laughs> and... no, no, they were adults. I think, okay, adults went to the mountain and then they found the pacifiers and then they became babies. It's very logical. <laughs> it's not a dream I had. She doesn't believe me. It's something you watch together. It's an anime I love very much. And then... <laughs> okay, one of the babies is a mafia baby. One of the babies is a cow. <laughs> oh my god, maybe. One of the babies is um, a scientist. One of the babies is like a G.I. Joe. I can't remember the other babies, but my favorite one was the cow baby. It was like really cute. And he had a bazooka that I think was a time machine. Does that ring a bell? <laughs> so, but anyway, the, no, oh my God, I think, okay. I think inside the boxes there were rings. Yeah, okay, okay, that's it. There's a ring. And then when you combine the pacifiers with the rings to get the policy.